Hello everyone and welcome to my Briarfest survival guide series. In this video I'll be going over all the need to know information about the Briarfest 2021 virtual tickets. Everything from prices to what's included in each ticket and more. Before we dive into all the details of the 2021 tickets, I want to give some brief Briarfest ticket history, especially to those of you that are new to Briarfest and might be a little confused when you hear people comparing the new tickets to the old ones. Prior to 2020, for 30 years, Briarfest was an event that only took place in person. While there have been many changes to the event along the way, in recent years many aspects of it have stayed the same. However, with these virtual changes coming to Briarfest, there's a lot of new things going on. One of the aspects of the event that stayed the same for quite a while was the ticket system. It's been pretty much the same for at least about the past 15 years, so it's no wonder that the new ticket system for 2021 has created some confusion to both Briarfest veterans and newcomers. The previous Briarfest tickets had two or three types of tickets depending on how you looked at it. Briarfest had single day tickets, which were meant for an affordable one day entry into Briarfest, and then they had three day tickets, which were broken up into two types of adults and children's tickets. Although both of these three day ticket types had the same benefits. The only difference was if you were an adult or a child entering the event, then you'd need the respective ticket. With a single day ticket, you got access to the basic events of Briarfest plus a free stablemate. With a three day ticket, you received access to the basic events of Briarfest plus the ability to enter additional offerings such as workshops, model horse shows, entering contests, and selling at Briarfest. You also received a free ticket to see the Celebration of Horses show, a traditional scale celebration model, and a special run ticket which allowed you to purchase two special runs. These are now considered the old ticket types. This is not the same ticket system that is being used for Virtual Briarfest 2021, and it probably won't be used again for Briarfest in the future. But there are many aspects of these old tickets that have been transferred over to the new ticket format. So let's now talk about the 2021 tickets. There are three different types of Briarfest 2021 tickets which go on sale February 1st. They are General Admission, All Access, and VIP All Access. To purchase a Briarfest ticket, you need to be signed into your BriarHorses.com account. If you don't have one already, you can create one for free. You do not need to be in a club or anything like that to purchase a Briar ticket, you just need to have a Briar account. Before we dive into the specifics of each ticket, let's take note of what is included in all three of these tickets. All of these tickets are three day tickets, which means you will have access to all three days of Briarfest no matter which ticket you choose. There are no single day tickets to Briarfest. All three of these tickets will give you access to the virtual content in Briarfest. That includes things like the live Briarfest broadcast that goes on, the pre-recorded content and videos that you can watch at your leisure, and other things like being able to access the Artisans Gallery and Vendor Marketplace page, the Equus films, and just all those different kind of things that you'll be able to access during Briarfest. For 2021, all ticket types will have access to the Celebration of Horses show, which premieres on the Friday of Briarfest, and then it will be available for guests to watch at any time the rest of the weekend. All ticket types give you access to the Briarfest Limited Edition models. The Briarfest Limited Edition models are the same as the models that were once called the Briarfest Store Specials and Pop-Up Shop models. These Limited Edition models include the traditional scale portrait models, or models that are based after real horses that are guest horses to the Briarfest event, the Best of Briarfest Stablemate Series set, a Decorator Classic or Freedom Scale model, a Crystal model, a Stablemate that pays homage to the event theme, and a Briarfest exclusive plush. Note that none of these models come for free with your ticket. They all cost extra to purchase, with prices typically ranging from $15 to $75. For Briarfest 2021, most of these models will also be available for back order during Briarfest, which means once Briar sells out of the stock they have on hand, you can back order these models and they will be shipped to you in December. So those are the limited edition models that all Briarfest ticket holders, no matter which ticket type, will be able to have access to purchase those. You are not obligated to purchase any of these models during Briarfest weekend. You can choose to purchase or not purchase what you like. 
Lastly, this next bit hasn't been officially announced, but it is likely that all ticket types will also have access to any new regular run mid-year release inventory that comes out in the Briarfest store. Typically at Briarfest in person, and then even last year, they will put out some of their new mid-release stuff a little bit early for people attending Briarfest to get the first chance to purchase, but these regular run models are usually available again later on on Briar's website after Briarfest. Then there's a list of everything that is included in all three ticket types. No matter which ticket you purchase, you'll have access to all of these benefits and activities. But now let's dive into the specifics of each ticket. The cheapest ticket is the general admission ticket, which is 20 US dollars. This ticket, of course, gives you everything that we just talked about, plus an event stablemate model. Event stablemate models are formerly known as the single day ticket models. There are four different event stablemate models this year, and when you purchase a general admission ticket, you will receive one of them at random. You cannot pick which model you receive. If you would like a complete set of the event stablemate models, you will be able to purchase a four pack of them with a general admission ticket. When this four pack of event stablemates will be on sale has not yet been announced. Then that actually covers everything that's included with the general admission ticket. As the cheapest ticket, this one only gives you the baseline access to the event. The only item you receive free with that ticket is the random or gambler's choice event stablemate model. The next ticket up is the all access ticket. You do not receive a free stablemate model like you do with the general admission ticket on the all access ticket. Instead, you receive a free celebration horse model. The celebration model is a traditional scale model and this year it is Danisha's Northern Tempest. The all access ticket is 75 US dollars and of course includes those other benefits that I just mentioned all the tickets get. While this ticket does not include any event stablemate models, like the general admission ticket, you will be given the chance to purchase a set of event stablemate models with the all access ticket. Again, when these models will be going on sale hasn't been revealed yet as of making this video, but both general admission and all access ticket holders will be given the chance to purchase them. The all access ticket includes several more benefits that aren't included with the general admission ticket. One of the biggest draws for the all access ticket is that it gives you access to another type of Briarfest exclusive model, which is the Briarfest Special Runs. Briarfest Special Runs are limited in quantity, event exclusive models that are different from the limited edition models. These models cannot be purchased the same way limited edition models can. Typically, there is a lineup of eight different Briarfest Special Runs each year, but in 2020 and 2021, there are actually nine different Special Run models. These Special Runs typically showcase a variety of different models, from different colors and patterns, to different molds or even different animals. The infamous Surprise model is also a Special Run. This Special Run model is kept a secret until people receive it and open it up. This model also typically has multiple different color variations and finishes. When you purchase an all access ticket, you will have the chance to purchase up to two special run models, and they have to be two different special run models, they can't be the same one. In the past, you would be given a special run ticket in order to purchase your special runs, but for this virtual event, you aren't given an additional ticket in order to access the special runs. The ability to purchase special runs is just tied to the account that you purchased your tickets on. Because special run models have always been a popular and highly sought over aspect of Briarfest, Briar has come up with a fair way to distribute these models. I'm not going to go over how these special runs were done in person in this video, but if you want, you can check out my old survival guide video on special runs. I'll have the link to it in the video cards and the description down below. The online way that special runs are distributed to ticket holders is both similar and different from how it was done in person. Both processes can be rather confusing, so I will probably have to do another survival guide video just about how the virtual special run models work, but I'll try to quickly go over it now as well. After you purchase a Briarfest All Access ticket, you will be then given a link in June closer to Briarfest, which will take you to a page that will help you fill out your preferences for the special run models. With this, you'll go in and rank your favorite special run models in order of how much you want them. This list does not guarantee that you'll get your top picks of the special runs, but it will help give you a better chance at getting the models you want. If you do not fill out this preference list for any reason, you'll be given a random selection of two different special run models come Briarfest. 
It is difficult to explain how this special run process works, so I'm going to do it in kind of a virtual metaphor. How it works is after all the all access ticket holders have submitted their preference lists, Briar will then put all the tickets in a random order. Think of it like a virtual line your ticket is going through, and it will get randomly placed somewhere in the line. Briar distributes the models based on that line so that the all access tickets that are towards the front of the line will probably receive their top two choices in special runs because at first all of the special run models will be available. As you go further down the line, however, the most popular special run model is probably going to sell out. That means that particular model will no longer be available. So let's say for the next all access ticket in line, they had that particular model as their number one pick, but now it's sold out. So that means instead of getting that model, they'll get their number two and number three picks of models. And then the process continues like that. The more popular models will sell out first, and they probably won't be available to those towards the end of the line. So those towards the end of the line won't be able to get those models, but they'll still be able to get whatever special run models are left. Again, it's difficult to explain this, and especially very quickly, but hopefully you can get the general gist of how getting special runs works. So after this process happens digitally, behind the scenes with Briar, we don't see where our tickets are going to be in line, or anything like that. Just what happens is, come Briarfest, two special run models will show up on your account available for purchase. These special run models may be the ones that you wanted the most, or they may be the ones you wanted the least, or maybe something in the middle. It will solely depend on your preference list and where your ticket randomly ends up in the virtual special run line. You will have all weekend to purchase these special run models. You do not have to rush and purchase them immediately. They are reserved for you on your account. They will not sell out from underneath you. You also don't have to purchase them if you don't want to. There is no penalty or obligation to purchase special run models. You can choose to purchase both models, or you can not purchase any of them, or you can choose to purchase just one of them. It doesn't matter how you end up purchasing them, but those two special runs that were selected for you that show up on your account during Briarfest, those are the only two models that you'll be able to purchase. If you want more special run models or have multiple family members that each want special runs, then you need to purchase multiple all access tickets in advance. Last year, Briar also had an option when submitting preferences, where if you have multiple tickets, you can do a master list if you'd like. This master list helps you not to get multiples of special runs if you're looking for different ones. We don't know yet if there will be a master list option for Briarfest 2021, so I'll save the details of how that works for the Special Run Survival Guide video. So there's a semi-quick overview of these special runs. Special run models are an additional cost. They do not come free with your ticket. The all-access ticket just gives you the chance to purchase special run models. Each all-access ticket holder is also guaranteed to be able to purchase two special run models. There's just no guarantee that those two models might be ones you really want or not. Let's move on to the other benefits included with the All Access Ticket. The All Access Ticket also gets you access to enter Briar contests. This includes the Best Customs Contest, Diorama Contest, and any other contests Briar might be having. Note that specific rules are involved with each of these contests, and they typically can only allow select countries to enter them when it's an online format like this. The All Access Ticket also allows you to enter model horse shows, these shows do cost an additional fee, and again, they typically have limitations on which countries can enter them. There are also workshops that you can register for. These also cost an additional fee, and as I'm making this video, full information on the workshops has not been released yet, but it is possible there will be different levels of registration on some of the workshops. Lastly, if you're an artist or a vendor or you're selling off part of your collection, You'll also have the ability to apply to be in the Virtual Artisans Gallery, Vendors Marketplace, or Swap Meet. Entering any of these also costs an additional fee. Then that covers everything that's included in the All Access Ticket. We move on now to the final ticket type, which is the VIP All Access Ticket for $230. US Now while the General Admission Ticket and All Access Ticket are comparative to the old versions of Briarfest tickets, the VIP ticket is a whole new thing for 2021. There has never been anything like this before at Briarfest. The VIP ticket includes everything I just talked about that the All Access ticket includes. From the free Celebration Horse model to the ability to enter contests. 
Everything I just talked about is pretty much the same except for two things. Unlike with the all access ticket where you submit your special run preferences, with the VIP ticket you outright pick and purchase the two special run models you want when you purchase the VIP ticket. You will be guaranteed whichever two special run models you pick. However, like the all access ticket you can't pick two of the same models, they have to be two different special run models. You also pick out two select limited edition models. Most of these models, except for the crystal, will be available for back order in 2021, so they aren't going to be hard to get like these special run models, but you'll still be guaranteed to have those models shipped out to you in July. With the all access ticket, you don't have to purchase both or any special run models, but with the VIP ticket, you have to purchase two special run models and two limited edition models in order to have that VIP ticket. If you have a VIP ticket and you want more limited edition models, you will likely be able to purchase them during Briarfest like all the other ticket holders. You will not be able to purchase more special run models, however. You will only get those first two models that you purchased. Unless, of course, you decide to purchase all access tickets in addition to your VIP ticket, then you can purchase special run models with those tickets. There are additional benefits to the VIP ticket that aren't included in the all access ticket. These benefits include a complete set of the event stablemate models for free with your ticket, a VIP swag bag that has a $50 value, access to exclusive VIP workshops and content, and lastly, a $10 discount code for Briarfest merchandise. Then there's the list of everything that is included in the VIP ticket. The VIP tickets are limited to 1,000 tickets, 800 of which have already been given out via lottery. People have already entered for them and gotten drawn for those, but there are 200 and any remaining VIP tickets that haven't sold will go on sale on February 1st with the rest of the tickets. There are around 9,000 all-access tickets that will be available for purchase, and around 3,000 or more general admission tickets for sale. I project that the VIP tickets will sell out within a half hour or so of being put up for sale. The all-access and general admission tickets likely won't sell out until closer to Briarfest, maybe around May or June. That's just speculation based on last year's ticket sales. Now let's go through some additional ticket information or information pertaining to the tickets that you might have questions about. Where do you go to purchase Briarfest tickets? You can only purchase tickets on briarhorses.com. There is usually a link to them on Briar's homepage, or you can find the page for them underneath the events Briarfest section. You may be wondering if you can purchase multiple tickets on one account, and the answer is yes, you can purchase multiples of general admission and all access tickets if you'd like. However, the VIP ticket is only one per account. You cannot purchase multiples of the VIP ticket. What are the shipping charges for Briarfest? There are no shipping charges for items you purchase during Briarfest if you are in the continental US. For Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii, it is a $10 flat rate shipping. All other international is $25. Unless you have a VIP ticket, then those models you purchase when you bought your ticket do have free shipping no matter where you're located. Briarfest 2021 tickets are non-transferable. You can't buy them on one account and then try to transfer them to a different account. Once they are on that account, they are on there. I don't know what the current status is on refunds. I thought I read somewhere before that they said they wouldn't be doing refunds on tickets, so I'm not sure what the current status of that is but they did say that they may refund tickets at their discretion. This is probably more if someone is buying a ton of tickets for reselling models, however. So not complete information on that, but I will be including any new information that comes out in my Briarfest 2021 news series. Briar has done early bird tickets in the past, but they are not doing that in 2021, so don't worry about early bird tickets this year. There is apparently a possible collector club discount, it's not very much. It's like what it was in past years, where it's around $2.50 per ticket. This is what I've heard from other people that got VIP tickets already, that there was a small collector club discount they could get on them. But I haven't heard official word or details on that if that applies to the other Briarfest tickets, but I'm sure information on that will be announced when the tickets go on sale February 1st. That should hopefully cover the majority of ticket information. I may have forgot something, or maybe I didn't really explain something very well, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability and maybe some other people in the comments might be able to help you out as well. Note that I don't work for Briar. I also don't have any special insider knowledge really or anything like that. 
I just happen to know a lot about Briarfest from doing Briarfest videos for the past five years. I will be doing a survival guide video soon just about these special run models and the process of how that works. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video when it comes out. If you're interested in learning more about Briarfest, I have this Briarfest survival guide playlist, which is mostly about in-person Briarfest, but it might still be handy if you are planning to go to in-person Briarfest someday. Thank you all for watching, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!